This is the 2022 Kia EV6 and this is the 2022 Kia Bongo EV. Yes, they're both full electric vehicles from Kia, but it's not going to be a comparison review today, but rather because we have these guys as a long-term tester, really wanted to just show them side by side. So let's start the show right now. We have waited about five months to get this Kia EV6 and price-wise, including the registration and everything, it costed us about 46k US dollars. But we also got 6,000 US dollars worth of Korean government incentives. So we got almost fully loaded single motor Kia EV6 with about 40,000 US dollars, which is only starting price in the United States, which is quite crazy. But on the other hand, Kia Bongo EV cost us about 35k US dollars, but we also got whopping 15,000 US dollars of government incentives. So it only cost us about 20k US dollars for this electric pickup truck, which is even more crazy. Both these guys come with a single motor. Kia EV6 comes with 77.4 kilowatt hour battery on the bottom and single motor cranking about 168 kilowatts and 350 newton meters of torque. But on the other hand, Kia Bongo EV comes with 58.8 kilowatt battery on the bottom and single motor cranking about 135 kilowatts and 395 newton meters of torque. So let's see how fast these Kia EV guys are. There's no doubt Kia EV6 is faster to 60 miles per hour, but compared to dual motor system, single motor system feels a little bit slower, but definitely it will return better range. We got Kia EV6 with glacier color, white for Bongo EV. Uh, there's actually two trims for Bongo EV. We got higher trim that just comes with a little bit more options. And we got earth trim for Kia EV6, not GT line because we just simply didn't want to spend more money just on the looks. And Kia EV6 actually comes with large front up front, especially because this is a single motor. So it's pretty nice and we have no front for bongo ev but actually comes you can actually open the hood like this so you can refill your wash fluids so it's a yes it's very very different car Looking at Kia EV pickup truck from the side, we have charging port on the side, fast DC charging type, and battery on the bottom, either side, 58.8 kilowatt hour. You can actually put these guys all the way down so you can more easily load and unload heavy stuff. You can actually load up to 800 kilogram for this EV, but if you get it with Regular diesel can actually load up to 1,000 kilogram or one ton. So yeah, it's a very good workhorse. All right, guys, I lied. You can also load the EV up to 1,000 kilogram or one ton. Okay, let's continue with our review then. And looking at Kia EV6 from the side, we have a silhouette light up here, which looks great at night. So I think Kia is very proud of this line over here and because we didn't get it with GT lines we have a two chrome strip covering the whole size section and our tester is wearing 20 inch rims we really wanted to get it with 19 inch rims because 19 inch rims just simply yields much better range but 19 inch rims were taking us much much longer time so we just got it with 20 inch rims but looks pretty all right 
For Kia EV pickup truck, it's wearing 15 inches up front, but small dualies at the rear. So why don't we go out and check out the braking performance for these two guys. Yes, Kia EV6 definitely felt more stable and was able to stop in much shorter distance. But even with empty bed at the rear, this Kia EV pickup truck felt quite stable and capable. Uh, look forward to show you the corner pretty soon, so do not go away. For Bongo EV, there isn't any second row seats, but if you get it with the regular diesel, you can get it with double cab. But for EV model, they only give you some space back here. And they also give you a puncture kit. But on the other hand, Kia EV6 comes with quite nice second row seats. I'm about 6'2", and there's good amount of leg room. And headroom feels a little bit tight, but it's okay because I will be mainly driving this car, we have two stage heated seats, air vents, and something that I really don't understand is that there's no sunshade for the side for EV6. I mean, it comes with Hyundai Ioniq 5, so somebody tell me why. And uh, we have a good armrest with two cup holders, and really loving the flat surface on the bottom, walking device, and we also have uh, two C-type charging, ports and I think it's going to uh, gravity zero comfort seating position but <laughs> let me just put it forward and we have a V2L connector right here on the bottom and yes we did not get any sunroof on the top okay now let me just show you the car from the driver's seat let's start with Kia EV pickup truck and because this is cap over style you're sitting very up high and there's Good amount of headroom and in terms quite nice place to be for a workhorse pickup truck. We have a folding side mirrors, 3.5 inch screen in the middle and 10 and quarter inch infotainment screen. Usual Kia stuff, it looks good and quick to respond. And we also have a heated and ventilation seat just for the driver's side, none, none for passenger side, so come on Kia. We also have a heated steering wheel, ashtray, gear selector, some storage area here and over here. Okay, now let's go out and drive this Kia Bongo EV or the Kia EV truck. It's very quiet, just like any other all EV car. It's very quiet and smooth. I'm sure you guys have seen many, many Kia EV6s, so let me just quickly show you our tester. First of all, we got it with brown interior. I was very shocked that you guys do not get Kia EV6 with brown interior in North America. So come on, Kia. And really hope you guys get it with the brown interior because I think it looks quite nice uh, contrasting with this uh, black interior and we have it uh, with the uh, head-up display on the top and two 12.3 inch screens very nice easy on your eyes and quick to respond and we also have a new Kia climate media control once you get used to it yes it's pretty okay to use uh, three stage heated and ventilation seats and heated steering wheel uh, heated seats and ventilation seats for both front passengers but sometimes it can be a bit pain to press them so you rather have to get it right on the, <laughs> the position also have a dial type gear selector a wireless charging pad auto hold 360 camera uh, and some charging port here under there and some cubby spaces along the side and on the glove box and Okay, now let's go out and drive this Kia EV6. Very quiet, it's all EV car, and let's see how it does on the road.
With Kia EV pickup truck, so far we have driven about 1,900 kilometers, which is around 1,200 miles. And when you do push it, it's quite responsive. It gets going, but the power drops down radically after certain speeds. So yes, this is no sports car, but pretty good for a pickup truck, as you say. Very good low-end torque, even larger than single-motor EV6. <laughs> yeah. So far we have driven about 631 kilometers with Kia EV6, which is only about 400 miles. And when you do push it, you see it goes quite fast. It gets moving, but yes, it's compared to dual motor system, it feels a bit slow, but I would say it's, it's more than adequate for your daily uses. I mean, you won't be racing this car like every day. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a neck breaker, but you certainly have fun with this car. So, yeah. Dual motor system, certainly faster, but if you want better range, you know, something for your daily uses, I think even single motor is good enough. Yes. Okay, Kia EV electric truck is still based on the cap over style. So if you don't go over speed bumps slowly, everyone will hate you, right? <laughs> because it can be very, very bouncy, so. Yeah, just keep in mind, you need to go slowly going over bumps. See, it also tells you that there is a speed bump. It also comes with auto hold and electric parking, so you can get out with style. What about the ride? Well, Kia EV6 has battery on the bottom, yielding very low center of gravity. So. I'm just going about 30 kilometers, the same speed that I went with the Pongo EV. So as you can see, it has much, much better ride. Uh, but compared to dual motor system, dual motor system feels a lot more stable with more weight on the top. So, but personally, I do like it with single motor better because it just yields better range. So guys, do let me know which one would you choose uh, with single motor or dual motor let me know in the comment section please okay hope i don't crash this uh, kia ev pickup truck but we have a small one but dualist at the rear so should do fine <laughs> wow wow Actually, first time doing it with Kia Bongo or Bongo EV, but it feels stable. Maybe because we have battery on the bottom and it's taking very nicely. Um, of course, it's not, doesn't feel confident as a Kia EV6, but it can be done. I mean, so if you're, if you need to go get somewhere fast with Kia EV pickup truck, it can be done. <laughs> yeah. What an experience. It just feels weird because in low speed it's very fast and it also handles quite confidently. Okay, let's check out the handling capability with Kia EV6. We have a single motor turning the rear wheels and battery on the bottom wow low center of the gravity is yielding very nice grip and the ESC does yes comes on uh, time to time but I told you dual motor system definitely feels quick around corner and with more weight up front just feels very stable but even with a single motor I think it feels very stable and capable uh, for regular EV um, so really hope to uh, show you guys uh, Kia EV6 GT uh, which will be rolled out uh, sometime after this summer here in Korea so stay tuned for that as well okay Kia EV pickup also comes with 
cruise control yes not a smart one but it comes with a regular smart cruise and also lanes keep assist yes it's not one of those delicate system but both uh, i think better than nothing and although it comes with single windows for the first passengers feels quite yeah it gets no easy yes yes change my mind and uh, like i told you after certain speed the power band drops radically <laughs> but it feels pretty stable for tall cap over style truck okay and can also change the intensity of the regen braking one two three right one two three so it's pretty good easy to modulate yes and kia ev6 also comes with lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control so you can just set it and let kia ev6 do most of the work for you it's a very delicate one placing the car right on the center and also keeping a safe distance with the car in front of course it's going to say keep your hands on the steering wheel driver so you should always do that and we have a double laminate windows for the first row passengers but single window at the rear so when you start really driving quickly you can hear a bit more noise coming from the second row seats but definitely kia ev6 even with single motor pushes very nicely all the way up to very high speed and it feels quite stable too so it's just the battery on the bottom is just yielding very good ride and stable ride and good brakes too so. all right guys this has been our long-term tester update both with kia ev6 and kia bongo ev hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with much much more so if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys see you soon stay healthy and bye bye